Alright, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bearded Brad. Appreciate you tuning into this video. Hope you all had a great Christmas. Glad to see everybody back over here now. I've not had a whole lot of time to hit the beach and do some fishing. So I'm going to do another little one year review of the Penn Wrath 4000. Uh, it's a $29 reel that Penn came out with last year. I've been using it for a little over a year. I got another review video that I'll go post up here. Y'all go check that one out. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all what I think about it in the first year. Kind of break it down. I'm going to take it apart. This will be the first time I've taken this reel apart. I've not done any cleaning or anything special to it. Just rinse it off after every time I hit the beach. So we're going to see how well this reel is held up in the salt water and the sand. Um, but anyways, y'all drop a comment down below. Let me know if y'all got anything cool for Christmas. Uh, if you got any new gear, any new reels, rods, whatever, drop a comment down below. Let me know. I got this cool little picture up here my wife got for me. That is actually the sky from the night that we got married. So the way the stars were and everything in the exact location over top of where we got married. Pretty cool picture. So I got that hanging up in my office now. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump right in to the Pen Wrath one year review. All right, so after one year of use, it is actually still pretty smooth. The only thing that I've really noticed so far that has been a little bit of an issue, which when we take this apart, we'll see how much of an issue it may actually be, is the drag. So I've noticed that if I hit the beach and I go put the reel up in the garage and I don't use it for a couple weeks, the next time I go out, that drag is pretty tight. I gotta pull that line and kinda get that drag working a little bit just to kinda free it up. Otherwise, it is pretty tight right away if it has been a while since I've used it. Again, maybe once I take this apart, clean it up a little bit, oil it up, that may take care of that problem, we'll see. Uh, that's the only thing that I've really noticed so far um, that has been an issue. I have mainly used this reel for doing whiting fishing, so I'm not going after anything big by any means. Uh, I've not seen a ton of action. It does go with me to the beach just about every trip I make, uh, but again, I'm catching fish that are 12 to 15 inches. I mean, we're talking about one pound fish here, uh, so nothing crazy. The biggest fish I have caught on this, I believe it was a 27 inch redfish. Uh, I'll post that video up here. Y'all go check that out. Uh, but I got 10 pound braid on this. Pretty big red on it. When I first hooked it, uh, it was on a whiting rig as well with a 10 pound uh, leader. And so I wasn't really sure how well it was going to handle. Got a super light rod on there. So as soon as that fish hit, I mean, it just went crazy. Wasn't really sure how well it was going to go, but again, kept the drag kind of light wore that fish out, got it in good. Uh, so the, the, the reel did its job there, uh, worked out pretty well for me. But again, y'all go check that out, see how we did. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into taking this thing apart. We'll see if it's got a bunch of gunk in it, see how much sand made its way up in there. Hopefully nothing's rusted inside. No idea, this will be my first time taking it apart, like I said, just a little over a year of saltwater use. So let's go ahead and see what the inside looks like. Alright y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and start taking this reel apart. See what all we got going on inside. See how much sand made its way in. Again, <laughs> hopefully no rust, but I'm gonna start off by, we're gonna take this drag off here. You just loosen this top nut there. And you get the spool come right off. As you can see, there is a little bit of sand in there. We'll get that cleaned up um, on here on these gears. Again, really not too bad. There's a little bit of gunk up in there. Honestly, I mean, that that happens. That's, that's to be expected with this reel. Um, it's not sealed. A little bit of stuff get up in there. Uh, so it's really not terrible. Definitely thought it might have been a little worse. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and take the take the rest of this apart and see what the gears look like in here 
Now to take this reel apart, we're gonna start with this first screw here on the bottom here. I just got a little Leatherman here. I'm gonna take this first screw out. Like so. Set that aside. And then we got this, once you take that, this little piece just comes off there. Um, and so that just exposes one more screw right here. So we got one, two, three, and four up over here. So we're gonna take these screws out real quick. Before you take those screws out, you want to take this handle off. Just unscrew that right there. My mistake. Just gonna pull that, pull that handle like so. You see that side of the plate's actually pretty clean. Check out the inside there. Really not bad at all be completely honest with you. I think it actually looks pretty good up in there. But like I said, a little over a year of salt water use. Doesn't appear to, um, there's definitely no corrosion or anything. Doesn't appear to be any build up of sand or anything like that going on up in here. So, Grease still seems to be pretty good. Again, I've not dunked this reel. Um, I've not laid it down in the sand or anything. So it's not seen uh, anything too crazy, but for $29, you don't really expect this reel to last very long in salt water when you're fishing with it quite, quite often. Um, again, I only fish with it with salt water, so. Once I get this thing put back together, I'll come back and talk with y'all. Again, tell you what I think about the one year review, whether you should buy it or not. So let's put this thing back together real quick. All right, y'all, so now that y'all seen the, the reel taken apart after a year's worth of use in salt water, uh, I would say that for $29, this is definitely worth the money. Like I said, I've taken this out quite a bit. It's only seen salt water. Again, it hasn't been dunked. It hasn't been laying down in the sand or anything. Uh, but it, it has withstand the salt water pretty well. I do make sure I rinse it off after every trip, just like you want to do with any reel. I didn't really do a deep clean or anything right now. I realized I did not have any grease or any oil or anything like that when I started to do this video. Uh, so I just want to take it apart, show you all what the inside looked like. I may go ahead and do a clean of it later, uh, but honestly, still working pretty good, so I may just let it ride, see how long this reel will last. If you're looking to get into a inexpensive saltwater reel, and you want to stick with the Penn brand, this is definitely a great option for you. Good entry reel, good reel for some kids if you do risk uh, kids dropping it in the water, dropping it down in the sand. For $29, it's not the end of the world if it does mess up. Uh, but like I said, after after a year's worth of use, worked out pretty well for me so far. Uh, but anyways, hope y'all enjoyed that video. If you have any questions about the reel, drop them down below. I also have a link on Amazon. Y'all go check it out. Y'all can pick this reel up for you today. If you are not subscribed, make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe now. I do have a lot of cool fishing content here coming up soon. Haven't been able to hit the beach a whole lot lately, but that is about to change. About to hit the beach a whole lot. Get a bunch of cool videos coming up for y'all. So make sure you're subscribed. But until next time, y'all take care.